been a voting resident since 1998. Uh, my wife and I, or adult wives, have always been fortunate enough to pick where we live. And we've always picked where there's great outdoor recreation and uh, open space and natural areas that we can enjoy. And that's why we're here. Uh, this is a great area, desert, the mountains, etc., etc. Uh, I want to point out the tourism. Uh, the reason we're here is not tourism, but there's a lot of tourism people that come here for the same reasons that we live here. And the tourism is brings much more to the economy than uh, does the mining economy. Uh, and you're going to see tourism drop. You're going to see people leave uh, the area that think the way we do, that we don't want to live in a place that's overrun with mines and has no quality of life as to why we came here. Um, the other thing that you've heard a lot about water, well, it doesn't take rocket science to know that the water table has been dropping. And that means that you're going to run out of water. That it's going to be, it's not a sustainable uh, use of water if the water table drops. You know, what don't we understand if the curve goes like this? So I think things like the mine, things like any in increased use of water when we're in a table dropping situation should be stopped until there it can be proven that we can have sustainable water. I don't think a hundred years is enough. I mean, you know, we got future generations to think about. I might even be here in a hundred years, who knows? <laughs> and the uh, other thing is the, the traffic that you've heard a lot about, and I was really glad to hear that and the, the, the scenic Route 83, which is a fantastic bike ride. And a lot of us bikers are out there. And I tell you, we don't want to mix on the narrow, windy road with, a, with a more traffic than is already there, and particularly with trucks. Anyway, thank you very much.